dear guests, let us welcome on stage Mr. Alexander Knoll, founder of Ability App USA. Mr. Alexander Knoll. Hello, everyone. It's an honor to be with all of you here this morning. I'm very excited to hear from all of the amazing leaders and innovators that uh, BlockWalks has brought together for all of us today. I'm very uh, excited to listen to their expertise and their advice. Nearly everyone here in this room is in the business of transformation. As leaders in technology, you are transforming the lives of others through your advancement in technology. I too am in the business of transformation. Today, I would like to share with you a little bit about what I'm doing to transform the lives of people with disabilities. But first, I'd like to tell you a story about my friend Emily. Emily, like all of you here today, is a person who loves to travel. Emily is also a wheelchair user. One day, she recently traveled across the country in the United States, 4,500 kilometers from the West Coast to the East Coast to pick up a new accessible van that she had ordered. After her first long 10-hour day of driving, she checked into a hotel that she'd booked a week before leaving on her trip because it said it was wheelchair accessible. However, when she got to her room, she ran into a few problems. The shower in the room was not roll-in accessible for her in her wheelchair, so she had to go without a shower. The bed in the room was also too high for her wheelchair and her in her wheelchair to get into, so she had to sleep in her wheelchair that night. Her room was not accessible. On the start of her next day of traveling, she called the next hotel to make sure the hotel did, in fact, have a roll-in accessible shower and a bed that was low enough in her wheelchair accessible room. She was guaranteed over the phone that the room had both. So after another long day of driving, she checked into that hotel and headed for her room. But the elevator wasn't working. There was no way for her wheelchair to climb stairs, and there were no rooms on the first floor of that hotel either. So at midnight, she was forced to find another hotel in town that had an accessible room, which, by the way, didn't have an accessible shower. So she had to go three days without a shower. Frustrating, right? As we're all travelers in this room, we all know how awful this must have been for her. Unfortunately, stories like these are common occurrences for many people with disabilities when they travel. Many of my friends with disabilities simply stay home and don't get out much because of the anxiety they have of the unknown. Being denied access to bathrooms, hotels, restaurants, you can pretty much name any type of public space and know that people with disabilities have been denied access to it at one time or the other. It's not only frustrating, but devastating. I've heard dozens of stories like this. But I truly hope that by educating people on the things they can do to help make our world more accessible and inclusive for people with disabilities, we can start to change that. Everyone should have access and everyone should be included. My name is Alex Knoll. I'm 14 years old, and I'm the founder of a revolutionary, transformative new tool called Ability App. Ability App will help people with all types of disabilities find accessible public spaces and find safe, reliable services and employment opportunities, transforming disability into ability, helping people like Emily find an accessible hotel room and other accessible spaces that help meet her specific needs to help eliminate worry and frustration. Whether it's pinpointing something as simple as an accessible restroom or park trail for someone who's in a wheelchair, or identifying a restaurant that has braille menus for someone who is blind to use, Ability App can help people with disabilities lead more independent lives. I started developing Ability App five years ago when I was nine, after I saw a man in a wheelchair who couldn't open a manual door to store. I've had some really incredible experiences while developing Ability App, and I met some truly inspirational people in the process. I've also had the opportunity to share my message about accessibility and inclusion throughout the world, throughout various media outlets. I've also had the opportunity to meet some amazing people like Ellen DeGeneres and Apple's Tim Cook. Here's a short clip of my appearance on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Well, all right, so tell people about, he's creating this, uh, this app 
to help people with disabilities, which is the most amazing thing. Tell people what you're doing. Okay, well, Ability App will be a free app or website that will help people with disabilities navigate public spaces and find safe, reliable services and employment opportunities. <laughs> So tell, tell everybody why you wanted, how you had this idea. Okay, well, it all started when I saw a man in a wheelchair and he couldn't open a manual door. So I wondered if there was an app that could have told him what other stores around the area had automatic doors. So that day I went home to do some research and I couldn't find anything like Ability App, so I created it. So you, it's not like you had anyone in your family with, that you just saw a perfect stranger trying to get in a door, struggling, and you thought somebody should be able to look it up and find out where they could go. Unbelievable. Okay, so you have a prototype. Show everybody how you're going to try to get this thing to work. Okay. Well, this is the home page of Ability App. Okay. It shows all of the different businesses that you can select. So I'm going to click on Hotels and Travel, okay. and the reason I'm going to do that is because so hotels, when people, disabled people, leave the comfort and safety and security of their own home, they don't know what obstacles they're going to face. And the hotels, they, they may say they're, they're rated accessible, but they're not truly functional to them. So Ability App will tell them what hotels meet their needs. So on Ability, or on Ability App, you can see, okay, this is a list of the different hotels that they can select. Um, so we'll click on this one, for example, if it, if it does it. Okay, so it will show all of the disability-friendly features available, and it will show a description of the business and all of the contact information. And people will, um, will be able to write reviews on d the different businesses, so, they, so people actually know if it's, is, is it's accessible for them. Right. Unbelievable. He's 12 years old, and he's doing it. I need your help. Solving the problem of accessibility and inclusion for people with disabilities will take an extraordinary effort. But if we're going to solve this problem, for a historically underserved population of people, we must start somewhere. I'm hoping that all of you here today will consider making our world a more accessible and inclusive place for people with disabilities. Please consider signing up online at abilityapp.org to become an Ability Ambassador. Ability ambassadors simply note where disability-friendly features are, where they work, live, play, and visit. It's fun, free, and easy, and you can sign up again on abilityapp.org. I'm also looking for corporate sponsors, if you know any. So enough about the why behind the app. I'd like to talk to you about the, or I, I would like to talk to you about the why behind the app. So that brings me to the question, why are we here? I don't mean at this conference. I know you're here to grow and connect and learn. But why are we here as humans? It's a question mankind has been asking since the beginning. And while I don't intend to explain the meaning of life in five minutes, I do find it interesting that many thought leaders from around the world, from multiple religions and philosophies, have come to a similar conclusion they were all here for each other. Why is a question most of us will ask throughout our lives. Mark Twain said the two most important days in your life will be the day you were born and the day you find out why. So why are you here? Do you know yet? And if we're all here for one another, how does that fit into the picture of your life? Are you living for others as much as you could be? If you look ahead to the end of your life, will you be able to say that you've made a difference in other people's lives? There are several reasons you might want to continue to help others. For starters, Making life easier for someone else feels good. It provides us with purpose. And researchers have discovered that giving may even help improve our physical health. These are all good reasons why you should give to others. But are they your why? Every single one of us wants at our core the same thing in life. That's to belong, to feel accepted, valued, and validated. From the clothes we wear to the cars we drive. That's all what we're trying to do, belong. But for some of us, the world is constantly telling us we don't. I'd like you all to help me with a little experiment. Let's dim the lights, and, like to, and I'd like you to imagine uh, that you're blind. No mental pictures, just darkness. Your heightened sense of touch, sound, and smell are now your tools for navigating the world. 
Now imagine you're at a restaurant alone and you need to use the restroom, but there's no braille sign letting you know which toilet is for which gender. What do you do? Now imagine you're at home and you need to go to the grocery store, but it's snowing outside and you can't navigate the sidewalks because they haven't been shoveled. What do you do? It's pretty hard to be independent with these barriers. Okay, you can open your eyes. What did it feel like to experience the world from a different perspective? You imagine being blind for a few seconds, but for many people, that's a very real challenge every second of their life. And the digital world is no different. Websites and social media aren't accessible for many people with vision and hearing impairments. When you create a digital product, like a website or native app, think about making the digital space accessible to users with disabilities. Globally, it is estimated that approximately 1.14 billion people live with some form of a disability. 1.3 billion people live with some form of vision impairment. Over 36 million people are blind, and over 5% of the world's population has disabling hearing loss, which totals over 360 million people across the globe. Remember to caption your posts and videos on social media. Captioning videos will help people fully understand your message. Captioning images is just as important for people with vision impairments, too, because your captions will help the, their screen readers read your image captions aloud. Plus, adding captions can improve your content, because captions help make your content richer. People often ask me, why do you do it? Why well, spend all this time traveling around the world trying to make a difference for people you'll likely never meet? And here's what I tell them. This family is why. So they can take a vacation in a town they've never visited before to minimize worry and frustration by using Ability App to pinpoint something as simple as an accessible restroom or park trail. This young man is why. So we can find an accessible playground and have the ability to play like anyone else. My friend Greg is why. So we can find services at restaurants like Braille menus service animal relief areas, and other disability-friendly features that help him along his journey. My friend Tara is why, so she can find restaurants at, uh, and hotels that accommodate her unique needs so she can live a more independent life. And the other roughly 1.14 billion people in the world struggling to do things the rest of us take for granted is why. But my why doesn't have to be your why. I'd like to challenge you from today on to see others like you haven't seen them before, to view the world through the eyes of those in need, to find your why, to learn where your strengths and your passions intersect, and put forth that energy into the world that makes life a little better for everyone. If you have healthy eyesight, be the eyes for someone who can't see. If you have more time, more money, more resources, help those who have less. Maybe your passion is providing clean water to the two billion people in the world that don't have it. Or maybe it's just giving an elderly widow a ride to the park so she can feed the ducks like she used to with her husband. One of the best things you can do for yourself is to do something for someone else. If everyone did, imagine how much better the world would be. Now let's wrap up this morning's conversation and refocus our attention on how we might bring positive social change and positive, positive economic results together as we enter a new era of leadership. An era that will force all of us to currently transform the way that we are currently leading our organizations. Today's leaders really must incorporate social goals in, into their companies alongside their economic goals. We must start looking beyond basic profits and start creating a culture of positive social impact on the world. A couple quick, quick questions for you all. Raise your hand if you have donated time or money to social causes last year. That's great. Now, now raise your hand if you think you have given enough to social causes. Uh, now, as you can see by the difference in reactions, this is something that needs to be addressed. What can we give? Our resources, our skills, our network, to narrow this gap. What is our company's mission? Are we just here to make a profit, or are we also looking to create positive social impact in the world? Blockchain clearly holds huge potential for social innovation organizations. 
Committing your business to the philanthropy creates a vision for your company beyond turning a profit. Corporate donations allow companies to take interest into their own communities and can also lead to a huge increase in employee morale. Giving back to the community that helped facilitate your success is a great thing to do. It's important to note that a large percentage of today's consumers look to support companies that are creating a positive social impact on the world. Philanthropic businesses are some of the most powerful in the world. For example, Apple matches employee charitable donations and has donated millions to charities. Charitable sponsorship is a great way to do good in your community while also gaining positive brand awareness. Donations put your company's name out there, especially if you sponsor an event or organization that mirrors your company's values. In closing, I ask you to continue to transform and elevate the lives of others through your advancement in technology. I encourage you to find your why, your motive and passion for helping others, and you won't only be contributing to what I believe to be the most important reason we're all here, you'll be closer to understanding why you're here. Thank you.